What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultimate Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 10 City of Tweaks for July 2016. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first up, we have Now Ability. This one's available for $1.99, and this tweak will place music controls in your recent notifications within the Reach Ability view. So when you double tap the Touch ID sensor, you know, and the screen moves down so you can access areas, you know, on the screen, uh, basically to, because it lowers the screen. As you can see right there, it basically just makes use of that, you know, normally unused space. So we have some music controls up here. You could skip, play, pause, etc. There's also a little indicator telling you where you are within the track. And you have your notifications there. So it'll just show them. It'll show the app, everything like that. And, of course, you could just tap on those if you want to launch the notification like that. So pretty, pretty decent tweak here, just, you know, basically making use of something that normally isn't used. Um, however, there's a couple things to keep in mind. The scrubber isn't actually interactable with. I can't actually seem to grab that. Um, and also, inside of applications, which is mostly when you're going to be using reachability, it's having trouble working. So as you can see right here, it's not showing up. So it's a good concept, but I, it's not really something I'd recommend right now just because it has some issues. And as you see right there, it randomly appears at times. So again, good concept, um, but just not really quite there on the implementation. So hopefully we'll see some updates to make that tweak much better. Once again, now ability, $1.99. And one more thing about now ability, uh, there's a little bit of an issue. If you don't have a notification, basically the view will be shrunken. So as you can see right here, it's much shorter of a view. So it kind of defeats the purpose of reachability, so to speak, because the screen doesn't lower as much as it normally does. So um, I can't, you know, access things quite as easily as I normally was able to. So again, uh, this just needs a little bit of work here and there, but solid concept at its core. Next up, we have NC Apps. This one's available for $0.99. Cents. This tweak will allow you to place an application of your choice within the Notification Center for access. So essentially, you just go to the new tab, NC App. Then you're going to be provided with a list of all the apps on your device. You can just find any app, tap on it, and then it's going to reside in this little view inside of Notification Center. And you can interact with it, as you can see right here, you know, just like this normally. Now, a use case for this would be, let's just say you're inside one application. Let's just go into Calendar, for example, here. And I've had a little bug where it's having trouble launching applications. Uh, after I set this tweak up, so that's just something to keep in mind. So you may have to respring to get that fixed. And yet again, I hope we see an update to NC Apps to fix this issue. But anyways, once you guys are inside an application, you can basically just pull down the notification center without leaving this current application that you're in and access another app using NC Apps. As you can see here, I could access my settings app right here, and I'm still inside, you know, calendar doing my thing. So it's just a decent way to multitask between two different applications. So once again, it's called NC Apps. It's available for 99 cents. And also, you see that the application that you choose will stay there until you select X up at the top. Then you'll have the ability to choose a different app. So it will default to whatever it was set to last. Next up is Search Define. This one's 99 cents as well. This will essentially add dictionary functionality to the Spotlight Search. So essentially, if you type in a word that you don't know the definition to, for example, maybe hypotenuse, normally iOS will just you know give you a bunch of suggestions like suggested websites, Wikipedia, Bing Search. But the iOS dictionary is not there by default. But as you can see, with this tweak installed, it will just add the you know dictionary section to Spotlight. So this is something that iOS should include by default, you know, but this tweak essentially fixes that. There's also a search dictionary option down there at the bottom, so pretty good tweak. Next up, we have analog status, and this tweak will essentially replace the clock in your status bar with a nice analog clock. So it just, you know, takes a few letters and numbers away and, you know, replaces it with something that's a little bit unique. So I'm a big fan of tweaks like this. And it works very well, and it just changes up the way your device looks and makes it a little bit more classy looking. So definitely go check it out. And it's free too, so why not? Breadcrumb 10 will essentially bring the iOS 10 breadcrumb design to iOS 9. So essentially when you're inside an application and you get redirected to another application, I'm just going to go ahead and click on a message here. As you can see, you're going to be receiving that little indicator in the status bar, you know, basically telling you to go back to the previous app. But as you can see here, this is the same design found in iOS 10, and it's pretty much identical. So let me show you guys over here on iOS 10 itself. So I'll go ahead and redirect myself from one app to another, and I'll show you guys just how similar they are. As you can see, they're identical. And you also notice the improvement that the Wi-Fi indicator is still visible. So the Wi-Fi slash 3G, 4G, whatever it is, indicator is still there even though there's a breadcrumb. And that was not the way it was in iOS 9. So that's another improvement that was brought over. So if you like that breadcrumb in iOS 10, definitely check this tweak out, breadcrumb 10, free. 
Next up, we have volume percentage. And this essentially will add a percentage to the volume buttons when you tap on them. You know, basically when you get that HUD in the middle of the screen. As you can see right there, we have a percentage now when I'm doing that. So it just that makes it a little bit clearer. And there's various options to configure. And there's a couple different themes you could apply inside these settings for volume percentage. So open it up. Uh, so of course, up at the top, you have the ability to disable the percent sign. So if you just want it to have a number like that, you could do that as well. Uh, then you have precision, which is essentially how precise the percentage will be, and you can have it actually add decimals, so it's very precise. Let's just do four to show you guys. As you see there, that's incredibly precise. I prefer zero just to give me a easy-to-read uh, percentage there. And then there's also themes down here. So there's normal, which is basically how it looks right now, like that. And then there's normal with large percent centered. So as you can see right there, it's actually going to replace that little speaker icon there with with the percentage then you could have a large percentage only so that's just the percentage like that uh, i personally prefer normal with large percentage centered because i you know still get to see that little dot indicator down there and i get the percentage so that's the one i would keep it on but really cool tweak just improve that volume hud to make it a little bit easier to look at a little bit easier to read what's going on a little bit more precise and it's free as well CC Notes adds a notes section to your control center. So after you install it, just go into settings on your device, find CC Notes, open it up, and make sure you have the tweak enabled, then just hit apply changes. So after you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. So just go ahead and open up the control center. Then you're going to be seeing this new little compose button right here. So just go ahead and tap on that. And basically, this is the interface. So if you want to start editing a note, just tap anywhere in here. Then you could tap up here, and you could actually start typing. As you can see here, this is a test so I could just you know do it do whatever I want edit my note then when I'm done I just go ahead and tap done editing that's gonna be stored here I could just hit back and now when I go into the interface as you can see there it's saved just as I left it uh, personally I don't really see a need for this because I have the notes app normally but I don't know maybe you want to access notes within an application just by quickly pulling up control center and doing it this tweak will work for you and it's free so nothing to lose and once again it's called a CC notes Vibrant CC will just essentially make the control center blur more vibrant. The colors that it takes in from the background will just be kind of amplified and it'll made a little bit brighter with this tweak. So just to show you guys what this actually looks like in comparison with normal iOS, I took a screenshot before I installed the tweak. Here it is, and then here's after. So as you can see right there, it gets a little bit brighter, just a little bit more of a lively look, but nothing huge. And once again, it's called Vibrant CC. It's free. Next up, we have Boot Screen and Customization. This one's available for free, and it will allow you to customize the Respring logo on your device, so where it shows the Apple logo. And also, when your device is booting up, a few seconds before it actually fully boots up, it will allow you to change that little screen there as well. So I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There was a tweak called Boot Logo Customizer from a while ago, but it hasn't been updated for iOS 9, so this is basically an alternative to that. So basically, after you install the tweak, just open up Settings on your device, and then find Boot Screen and Customization, open it up, Make sure the tweak's enabled. So basically, you have the Apple logo color and the background color. Now, I'm personally not able to get background color to work, but I have gotten Apple color to work. So either way, essentially, just go into select for both of these and make sure it's set on custom for both. So custom here and custom there. And once you've done that, you could essentially select the color for the Apple logo and the background color. So just tap on it, and then you could drag your finger around. I'm going to have mine you know, reddish. And then you could go down here and configure it some more. Tap done. And then the same thing for background color, you could do the same thing. But again, I was unable to get this to work for whatever reason. But either way, after you set it up, just select apply, your device will respring. And there you go. As you can see right there, as I mentioned, I got the Apple logo to work perfectly fine. You can see there it's red just as I customized it. But the background was not able to be customized for whatever reason. So uh, hopefully that'll work for you. But either way, it's a really cool tweak. So I'll show you guys what I mean also when your device is turning off and when you turn it back on, how it also will essentially theme just for a couple seconds before your device turns back on. So as you can see, when we first turn on our device, it doesn't work here. But again, it will work just a couple seconds before the device fully boots up. So still customization. And if you respring a lot, this will definitely be something nice. So as you see right there, it did change just like that, just a few seconds before it boots up. And again, with resprings, it'll always apply. So this is good for people who respring frequently and want a cool customization for that. And once again, this is called Boot Screen Customization. It's free in Cydia. All right, guys, last but not least, we have no invite FB messenger. That's all one word, and it's available for free. And basically what this tweak does is it will remove that invite, you know, whatever this person's name is, to messenger 
button if someone isn't on Messenger. So essentially, I took some screenshots and modified them just to, for privacy reasons because I didn't want to reveal anybody's name. But essentially, this is what it looks like by default. As you see there, it has someone's name and it says invite that person's name to Messenger if they're not already on there. So you could do that. But if you never want to do that, this tweak will essentially just remove it. And as you see, after the tweak's installed, that's what it looks like. So just like that, it's completely gone. So if you guys use the Messenger application and you're constantly annoyed by that pop-up, this is definitely a good tweak that you should try out. And it's available for free, so no harm done as well. So yeah, guys, it pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you, hope you guys found some good tweaks to install on your devices. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreaking, city of tweaks, iOS, and so much more. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!